I, I don't understand what it is about card games. I think people made them to make money and then realize that it's not as easy as just printing money. People don't have infinite wallets that they can just keep buying your cards. Like, as Qu uh, Gwent realized, you need to keep releasing cards and making things more complicated and there's a lot of effort that goes into that. Um, which, you know, Hearthstone doesn't really follow. They put effort in, but in a different way. I guess that was it, right? Hearthstone made lots of money. And everything else isn't. Or not making as much. The semblance of power don't interest me. You get it? Explain away. Anyway, who are we even playing? Imposter, uh, which does... Whenever you play an aristocrat on your side of the battlefield, if there are at least four different stasis on your opponent's side, boost it by one. Okay, I've no idea what's going on. At the end of your turn, boost the lowest power unit in your hand by one. Nilfgaard hand buff. Uh, right, well, we'd like to get rid of it. I'm not going to. Let's just play that. Because it's on six, we would need to... Why do we have no raid cards? I mean, apart from you, and you, obviously, but... I'm for you. Um, well, let's ignore this round and just do set up. But we can at least get that down to something, some place where we can nearly kill it. Uh, Warner Brothers is not in the condition right now to wait for money to flow in. They're on the brink of bankruptcy. Some random small video game is a liability. I mean, it should. If it was making any money, though, it should be relatively easy. You know, just the servers cost a certain amount a month. You don't need. You know, you're paying a couple people to improve it, make new cards, community server. Like you know how much it's costing you. Like, is it making enough money? If it's not, you just stop. That's the same with any game, though, unless you're looking to sp make it better. They actually have two of these? I'm so confused. Where did they get the other one from? They boo hurt and transform into a base copy, that thing. Fine. I want to pass. It's way too early to pass, but I still want to. Can't use anything. Fine, we use this rubbish guy. Then we'll pass. So yeah, if you put the time and effort into a game and you're like, you have to make it work, you're probably not going to get rid of it so soon. But Like, they knew what I was going to do next, didn't they? They knew I was going to pass. Do we give them round one and ten points of resilience? I mean, with this in our hand, yeah, we do. I mean, maybe we shouldn't have done. But they were 28 points, I was on 15. Like, I had Sove to catch up. But even still. Right. Are they gonna... They're still gonna play a couple cards. What do we want? Let's push back. Well, that's like the only low point card, so we need to keep you. You're a raid card. Sure. Like, do I want you anymore? I want you for the third round. And you're you're decent. Well, that makes that easy. And they have Calvert. I mean, we know they're going to pass. What points are you? You can do seven damage. It, like, it doesn't matter if I kill these things anyway. Um, Why did I get rid of Freya's Blessing when I have these two in there? Okay, let's just do Mr. 3-2-1. Because he could help 
with save in a second. Or that would have been better if I had another one to hit, but still. I always get confused by this guy. He can transform. He won't transform back though. Boost off by one for each spine unit. Or does he transform back? I can't remember. Anyway, he has got damage by nine if he has armor. Sure. No, he doesn't. Well, he's not going to come back now anyway, because he did. There is someone somewhere in this game who like transforms and then transforms back and then transforms and transforms back. Okay, there's not just one person, but there's a couple. And I feel like I saw him while someone else on the board was doing it and I was just confused early on. I was like, I don't know what's going on. Don't, don't give Calvert more health. I'm trying to get you to be less annoying here. Right. We have one more charge of Blood Eagle. I don't necessarily have to kill something, but I could get like seven points out of here. Um, Because I don't need, like, there's no amazing warriors. I could get Vabuon if I killed. Maybe we leave it. Um, Which means just doing six damage. Blood does two. Eight damage. I think it's worth it then. it does an extra hit. I mean, we've given them one point. The Emperor shall be proud of his sons. Um, maybe we have to play War of Clans. We can't. I oh, know you could do this with you, and that would kill. In fact, we have the death uh, bloodthirst anyway, so we can do that. Bring out Vabjorn, and then I well, know Vabjorn into that could be good though for the end. It's best to use Primal Sapphire Tree then. Because I don't want that to stay alive. Okay. If your opponent has one around this, yeah. This is when Nautica Sergeant is bad. I mean, he's clearly just bleeding, even though he's winning. I don't know what he's doing. He's not playing very well. He's playing well enough. That's fine. We don't need to annoy our opponent. Um, what do we want to do? Like, I'm trying to save this and this for this, but in a way I'm thinking I can't save everything. Let's play this. Sure. Into... Papillon. Nah, let's just go for points. Papillon probably would have been more points, but I didn't want to get rid of the blood thirst, and I was like, mm, I could have done... No, that would have killed it. Doesn't have armor, so that would have been better, actually. If I'd had time to look, I could have hit that for seven. Um, We can bring back a warrior. Okay, I'm going to have to start using this now. We have devotion, so we always get it. Actually, where do you start? Six. Sure. Um... So what could we do? We could do like three, two, one. Sure. I mean, I have them where I want them. Is it worth using a whole sew for it, though? 
I could just play Brown and keep so for next time. But I won't necessarily have the charges there. Sova is a much better card even on its own than Brown. So I think we just play Brown, even if we don't play our leader into it. Now we did have to use War of um, Clans, is that what it's called? But maybe we can find... Vabion... Uh, not Vabion. Phrase Blessing. Uh, Bran. Alright, to play, yeah. Yeah, much better. This way. We want to keep this. Do we want to bear Abomination? I think we want to keep pulling for, like, these four cards. So... That's good. Do we risk it? It's not awful. Because we'll have to push something back anyway. So it's probably you. Um. Go for points. Or do we want to bring that back so we can play it? We've got one raid card. No, that's fine. Let's do this. Only players for like one extra point anyway. And we want a Fucusion next with... Let their blood break their bones and spirit. It has to be a bronze card. Um, you can do 9 damage, but they have slightly more than 9. Maybe the rain will damage it a little bit more. That's fine. We're going to use her, otherwise they'll kill it, probably. Um, that will we give it bleeding. I think this maybe is helpful. I know we lose two points, but with that being hit and with that going up to ten, we can kill that. We won't be able to kill anything else on that row. Except for with care trolled. But we can kill it. And we may want to. Uh, actually, banishing cards from my graveyard is not too much of a problem now. We've we've done with the graveyard things. Um So I'm going to ignore this for now, because I'll get an extra something. Um, bloodthirst. They will have Bloodthirst in a second, but it's better just to hit them. Especially if we have Sove. Because then Sove might be able to play for something like this instead of this. Like, they use their leader ability, right? Lock an enemy unit, then spawn its base copy on the opposite row and boost it by the number of enemy units with a stasis on the locked unit's row. I don't know. Fine. I mean, we could kill that as well. Instead. What do we need to kill? I mean, we could kill the defender. Or this. I think we kill as an A. I don't know what we kill, so we just leave it. Or do we? The closely kiddos are my courageous mother. I mean, it's thinking time, so I can, you know, leave an extra round, turn. 
But if he puts something really dangerous that I need to get rid of, then it's a problem. At that point, I would use Control's ability to get rid of it. Dog Forts. Quite the menial task. Doubly unhelpful. Uh, what are you at five? So I can give you the bleeding. Not with that, though. Okay, so we can maybe kill that thing then. Give that bleeding. Sure. Because we're going to need... That's going to give me three anyway. So I just need three of them bloodthirsty. Um, and I guess we get rid of this. Well, not get rid of, actually. So we, we do have this still here. I'm just double checking, you know. Because I can be doing all this fun bloodthirsty stuff. And then in the end, it's just for nothing because it's not actually in there. Lock an enemy unit. Sure. Um, there's only one turn anyway. So it doesn't really matter where they go. He didn't want to see me do it. We accept their forfeit. I mean, what would I have had? Like an extra 24 points. So, yeah. They probably didn't have 30. Hey, look, we actually won something. Should we keep going with this deck, or should we try something else? Because I'm not sure if it's working. Yeah. <laughs> I assume that's how you said it, she. In, you know, a weird way. Do we want to keep going with this deck? I mean, we were kind of doing it half for the quest, but it was going very slowly. I don't think we were really doing it for the quest, were we? Um, we can play dwarves with our Squirtle. But not really Squirtle. Um, I mean, it's Squirtle. It's not really dwarves. This is Simon's symbiosis deck, which has Mahakam Pass, which means that I can, on occasion, pull out some dwarves. But I only need to pull out five over the course of however long I want to play this deck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe, or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated, or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.